What is up you, the toaster. <laughs> What is up you guys, welcome back to my channel. This is the me of a couple days from now, but you're about to see me looking hella tired and ragged and haggard, sorry about that. But I wanted to encourage you to stick around, fight the good fight and stay around till the end of the video because I am gonna be walking you through the details of how I create for a three day work week for myself, prepare for work, travel, um, my scheduling, my preparation, tons of really tangible um, things that are gonna be very applicable to you if you are a business owner, entrepreneur, coach, et cetera, et cetera. So I will timestamp that down below, but there's gonna be a ton of fun, just kind of like day to day stuff in the rest of this video. And I wanted to just let you know that it will be well worth the wait till the last day of <laughs> the vlog. So. Welcome to my first ever three day vlog. I hope you enjoy it and let's dive in. What is up you guys? It is February 22nd. Welcome to another vlog. I wasn't going to vlog today or at all this week probably, but I am prepping to leave town at the end of the week and I was like, it might be helpful to show how I condense my work week into a three day work week. So today is Monday. I'm leaving super early Thursday morning to go on a trip. And while I will do some work on that trip, I'm mainly consolidating everything into the first three days of the week. So I figured I would do like a three day kind of combo vlog and just show you guys how I combine that, what that looks like scheduling wise, um, how I consolidate calls, deal with client management, delegation, all that stuff. So if you are self-employed or would like to be, I think this will be fun for you to see i let's see what time is it it is almost 11 a.m it's monday obviously and i just got back from the dentist i already had a client call this morning got up super early but we'll do kind of a morning montage tomorrow probably i'm just cooking some food i'm gonna sit down and map out a few youtube videos reset my schedule and follow up with some clients and so i will catch up with you guys then So I just sat down with the most massive bowl of food ever. We'll see if I can eat all of that. But I already worked out this morning and hadn't eaten anything and had to go to the dentist. It's like a whole process when you work from home and you like actually have to go somewhere during the day. It's like, what? <laughs> so a little bit about what I'm about to do. So I have my laptop here and also my little notebook, my super professional agenda. I love legal pads. Um, I definitely need another coffee. I look so tired, but I don't think I'm getting it all done up today because I don't have to do any filming right now. I didn't plan to do any filming, so we'll see how that goes. But basically, I like I said, it's Monday. I'm leaving town on Thursday, early Thursday morning. And while I probably will do some work while I'm gone, I'll probably vlog some of that. Um, basically this is a three day work week and on the reg, like this is kind of what I strive for. And so some people are like, what the heck, like three day work week, but like, trust me when I say it's not all consolidated into three day work week and don't be fooled. If you saw last week's vlog, obviously I was like busting ass on Thursday and Friday. It just depends on the week. It's the beauty of being the owner of the business though, is you can customize what you need to do when you want to work. So with that being said, I started last night, Sunday night, I sat down with all of my tasks in my different notebooks and wrote out different days of the week and my plans and what needs to happen on those days. Um, and then today I'm basically working my way through those to-do lists and the important elements are rightly like getting prepared. So my content's all pulled together, making sure my clients are taken care of and that they know that I'm not going to be available for active editing and things like that on the days when I am gone. I'm gonna sit here and eat and I'm probably just going to map out the vlog because when I'm doing like multi-day vlogs, I'm not gonna show every single thing that I do, but I wanna hit the high points. So I'll probably map that out. Also, it gives my editor um, basically like an inside look into what I wanna see included in the vlog. And yeah, then I'll probably move on from there. I have two calls left today. I have one follow-up call for a potential client and then a client call late this evening. So. Today's going to be heavy on the admin, but I'm going to go ahead and get started just eating and getting organized, and then we'll move on to the actionable tasks after that. Okay, 
it's time for another coffee. <laughs> because I was bored and I'm going to answer my DMs right now and then I have a call in like two hours and so I'm going to try to get through most of this admin stuff get my Instagram post live today if you're not following me over on at Emily Woods Wellness on Instagram you definitely should daily coaching educational content is over there and it's bomb um, and then once I do that, I have a standard operating procedure that I am working on putting together for my next co-coach and that's the tea. So I'm going to start working on that. Hopefully this will help me look less like a zombie, but who knows. I've literally been sitting on the floor for so long. It's just a full transparency that time of the month and I'm very tired, clearly. Oh my God, I'm not looking my best. But something that is important to remember as an entrepreneur and someone who does like service-based business is like your schedule needs to be a little flexible. So today I had a follow-up get rescheduled, which is totally fine. It's like I'm, I can be flexible on most days. And so when I can, I try to be. With that being said, I have an hour blocked out in the day right now. And rather than just like sit on the floor and like not get anything done and watch YouTube, because like even I, who I think have, I have like a very busy schedule, people that need me, all that stuff. I still get really distracted, obviously. So it is a gorgeous sunny day outside and and I'm gonna go out and enjoy that. So I think I'm gonna go on a walk, pop in a podcast and just reset a little bit. I have um, several more client check-ins to do today and just some prep work and things for tomorrow as well. Just like lift the burden a little bit because tomorrow is a busier day. And then, I have a client call later this evening that I'm going to plan for and I'll probably try to do maybe like an early dinner before that so I can actually like wind down and get ready for bed and go to bed early. So I'm gonna go for a walk now and I'll check back in when I have a renewed sense of motivation. Can we just check out the circles under my eyes? Wow, alarming. <laughs> Okay, just got back from my walk. It was very refreshing and I'm gonna sit down and do a little bit more work before, hello? Before I cook an early dinner. Um, but normally right now it's like four. I would have like an Earl Grey or something like, not coffee, but something a little bit caffeinated. And I'm trying to improve my sleep earlier. Like I wanna be able to go to bed earlier and that's like a big problem of mine because I get up really early but I don't go to bed early enough. It's not the tea. So I'm not gonna drink anything caffeinated. I think I'm gonna make myself a sparkling water on our super nifty sparkling water maker and do some work, get dinner started and have time for hopefully maybe another walk before my call. Um, so again. make for dinner always a struggle <laughs> I made tofu with rice and broccoli just like easy nutritious meals and some kombucha I need some wine honestly mm. Mm. 
I am in my office right now. It is about 6.30ish. I have a lot of evening client calls. Um, I try to consolidate them as much as possible and I usually don't have them on Mondays, but, a big, bleh, bleh. <laughs> but again, this is a weird week. So I'm about to hop on a client call and then I'm gonna have a glass of wine after this and go to bed. Oh, the first day of my period is such a struggle, but it happens and if you're a female and you have a career you work through painful days like that but anyways there's no reason for this conversation my office is a complete mess and i need to clean it maybe we'll do a cleaning hyperlapse at some point but i'm gonna take this call and have my glass of wine after and chill <laughs> My like days of the week I'm so confused I just hopped off my first client call of the day and I have another one in about an hour and a half um, this morning was kind of busy I started a little bit later you guys saw yesterday I was a zombie like a full-on zombie and I feel um, and look <laughs> A lot better today so um, that's awesome but on the agenda for today I have several client calls I am going to be filming a YouTube video or two I'd love to film two if I could kind of like get the ball rolling on that and I'm just trying to get ahead um, so that my bulk and like batch filming um, episode that I'm doing on this upcoming Monday isn't so so intense so I definitely have one video that I'm filming so that it's prepped for next week um, and then yeah we're, our house is getting cleaned right now so I'm trying to just like stay out of the way but what am I gonna do next I have some client management stuff to do. I'm going to edit some content, do a few emails and things, and then I'll be back in the office. And my battery is dying, so I will see you guys later. So I have about an hour long gap right now. And one of the biggest tips I can give for productivity is to not try to do a task in a short amount of time that you're not gonna be able to get done. It makes it drag on and on and on. So I'm gonna work on just doing client tasks right now, making sure everybody's caught up. And then I will tackle bigger admin stuff in the larger gap that I have between this call and my next evening client call. So I'm gonna eat edit some captions for clients. We are now T minus like one and a half days out from leaving town. So tomorrow, if you stick around, we're gonna be doing packing, a lot of stuff. I have filming to do today. Um, it's gonna be a whole a whole vibe. So um, yeah, this is just an interesting little three day vlog I'm, that I'm doing, but I'm excited about it. I feel much more energized today. Got that sleep that I needed. If you haven't seen it yet, 
in the video that I posted, I think last week about getting out of a rut, I would recommend watching it. One of the things I talked about was like, if I am feeling like I'm in a little bit of a rut, getting enough sleep and getting extra sleep is extremely important. So that is something that I implemented last night. I got my workout in, been eating really healthy, obviously that's very helpful. And I'm gonna just dive into editing captions now. Time for coffee. Okay, I'm sitting on the floor in the sun, but I have this stripe of shade here because I just need my vitamin D. And I'm about to buy a few things online. I'm wanting a new phone case and just some loungewear, the basics, you know. Um, and then I'm going to film a YouTube video, do a ton of admin work and get prepped for the two calls that I have tonight. So I am very excited about that. And I'm going to do a little online shopping now before I head outside for a walk. Okay, so I just got done filming that YouTube video. It is probably going to be up by the time I post this vlog. Actually, no, it won't. Just kidding. But you guys make sure that you are subscribed so you can watch the educational content. I uh, The video that I filmed was about pricing, coaching programs, and being a female entrepreneur talking about money because a lot of females have trouble talking about that. So that was the topic of that video. But right now i am going to answer a few more client messages on voxer i think i'm gonna head out for a walk so that i can kind of be like mentally prepped for an evening of work um that's a common theme leading up to going out of town is kind of cramming all my calls together usually that means my evenings are tied up but it is well worth it for the freedom that i have and yeah so answer some client messages go on a walk no more caffeine i love another coffee or an earl gray right now but i'm gonna hold off because i want to be able to go to bed early and yeah i guess i'll just catch up with you guys after that Okay, it is a lot later now. It is like 6.15. I just hopped off of my last client call of the day and now I'm about to host my foundations of online coaching group call, which is like literally the most fun part of my week. It is a little bit later. It's at seven, but I got to accommodate for a lot of work schedules. So I'm going to eat dinner, prepare for that. I will probably end the vlog for today here and we will move to tomorrow. Make sure you guys stick around because I, I say stick around, like the transition is going to be literally in like two seconds, but Tomorrow I'm going to be doing some more like trip prep, getting ready to obviously leave town, but I am going to also be chatting through the specifics of my scheduling, what that looks like. Oh God. Oh my God, <laughs> excuse me. Um, the details of my scheduling, how I prepare, and how you can make a three day work week feasible for you as well. It's actually a really, really busy week for me, um, but with a few sacrifices and a really good amount of planning, it's totally doable. So I'm gonna go fix dinner for myself and I will see you guys in the morning. Bye. Good morning, you guys. It is Wednesday. February 24th and I am sitting in my little floor nest finishing a coffee. It's 7.53. I've already had a client call two days every other week. I do really early client calls with people who have work and I found that like mental exhaustion when people get off work is really, really high. So we get in their client calls before they go to work. So I had a 6.30 a.m. call and ideally I get up and like work out prior to because it sounds insane but it like gets my heart rate up it just energizes me a ton but last night stevie our cat was like playing with her toy in the middle of the night and then like something fell in our pantry and i swear i thought like someone was in our house and anyways kind of didn't get a lot of sleep um feeling pretty good i think i like caught up on it a little bit um anyways so i just had my client call and I am sitting here, I'm about to upload a YouTube video that will be up and linked here by the time you guys watch this video. Um, it is about investing in real estate as an entrepreneur, which is super badass. Um, just investing in general is badass. 
So that's what I'm about to do. I'm going to upload. Um, I got the video back from my editor, so I'm going to, it's already on YouTube. I'm gonna go ahead and create the thumbnail, create the corresponding blog post, get everything ready for my VA to do my SEO. And then I'm going to recreate my to-do list, answer my DMs, and probably like watch a YouTube video in the meantime, because I like to just enjoy the morning a little bit when I do have something so crazy. And then my next call is going to be at, I think, 11.30. So I have a little bit of time to just chill for a sec, and then I will work out. Um, I am dog sitting today, my mom's dog, so I have to go pick him up. And then later this afternoon, we're going to be chatting through scheduling and all the fun things I've been promising I would talk about. We're gonna be packing, doing a bunch of admin, my sister's getting here. It's gonna be a really busy, crazy day. So I'm going to tuck in for hopefully like an hour or more of really productive work time. And then from there, I will see you guys when we move to the next thing. Awesome. Okay, so it has been a bit of a scattered morning. I feel like when I have really, really early morning calls and I am front loading my week majorly as I am this week, because as you know, like by the title of this video, this is a three day week for me, but it is not days off. I am just compiling everything I need into these days. So it is 11 ish right now and I'm about to go scarf down some food and I have a call with a potential client. A lot of what I do consulting wise is helping people determine if mentorship is the next step for them. So I'm about to hop on a call for um, a consult and then after I eat and then today I have a ton of admin work to do that's been rolling over the past few days. I still am going to chat with you guys about scheduling, teamwork, outsourcing, all that jazz. I'm dog sitting all over. Come here. Come here. I am dog sitting and I also have two meetings for travel. So we travel a ton, my husband and I, and I have to meet with, um, I just have two meetings with people that I'm traveling with to get um, Airbnbs booked, like locations for different things and just travel plans in general because I have trips coming up. So I literally am just wearing like bike shorts and a t-shirt, but I just dressed it up with a denim jacket and a fun clip. And I'm gonna go eat and I will catch up with you guys after this consultation. Okay, so my sister is about to be here and she's gonna be like sitting in, I guess, while I'm doing all of this like work stuff. Um, I have things cooking in the other room. I'm cooking her lunch for when she gets here, but I wanted to sit down and chat with you guys about like the logistics behind creating my schedule and what it takes to be able to have a three-day work week technically and while not every single week is like this I would say the predominant like bulk of my work every single week I do try to contain between the days of Monday and Wednesday I obviously do work on the days in between but it is really high on my priority list to not be working my like complete like ass off every single day because that is how you get so dang burnt out so my main two tips when it comes to, I need to close the door because I can like hear things cooking. Please hold. Okay, as I was saying, my main two tips when it comes to preparing for like, whether it's time off, when I travel, it isn't really time off, it's just time away, like working from a different place. Um, but I generally know like if I'm going to, depending on where I'm going, like right now I'm going to Disney World, I'm not really gonna be getting a lot of work done during those days aside from um, just doing correspondence with my clients. So I can keep in touch with them, keep up with them, fulfill all of my duties as a mentor. Um, but I am not gonna be actively like doing administrative work online or taking client calls. So first tip, tip number one, numero uno, 
can't get my thoughts together, is to prepare in advance of like the week that you're leaving town. So I was already prepping for this week. Like two weeks ago, I was rescheduling my client calls. I was moving things around, making sure that nothing conflicted with my time. I also planned this like way, way back in the day, whenever I made my schedule and I decided what I wanted my schedule during the week to look like, I created these boundaries around being able to leave town for long weekends, like just as a baseline. And that's really important to note because if you're just working every single day of the week, all the time, like while you're getting started, that's one thing. But once you like kind of get into a groove, you need to have some boundaries with work and have certain days that you can have flexibility within. That's like half the fun of being an entrepreneur, right? Especially if you like to travel. So plan before like the week of, so you're not scrambling. And I know maybe it seems like I'm scrambling this week, but it's a bit of a scramble at all times when you are like basically the sole <laughs> contributor to your business. My team is phenomenal and amazing, but I definitely am in charge of the main, you know, organization and delegation and everything. My second main tip as far as just like time-wise organization is when you are planning for the week you're going to be gone or whatever time period is it's going to be affected by your absence, make sure you're prepping for when you return. There is nothing worse than getting into town on a Sunday night and not knowing what needs to happen on Monday having a full workload, even if you're totally like run down on sleep, you know, the house is gonna be a mess, you're not gonna have groceries, like remember like the life stuff and make sure you're taking that into consideration. So for example, this week I have batch filmed already and we'll be continuing to do that today for the next couple of weeks so that my bulk um, of filming that I have to do when I get home is a lot less. I am prepping when it comes to content. I have everything planned out. My team is aware of these things. That brings me to another point, which is if you have help, if you have a team, that's amazing. If you don't, that's fine too. Whatever form of help you have, even if it's just you, make sure everybody is in the loop with what's coming. You don't want to blindside your team and you absolutely do not want to blindside your clients. So one thing that I struggled with a lot at the beginning of my business was I never took time off. And this little trip that I'm taking now isn't going to be totally time off, but it's going to be time away. Like I said, I'm not going to be accommodating for my full normal workload. Um, and that would have intimidated me in the past because I was totally like my clients owned me. They didn't know it, but like I didn't have freedom from my job. Whereas now I don't have a fear of taking time off. I just am transparent with my people. You have to be. So that's extremely important to remember as well as like you have to just communicate what you need and when you need time away um, and when you're going to be gone, don't be embarrassed. Don't freak out. Like just because you're a coach doesn't mean you have to be available all the time and that your clients are going to freak out and act like it's some travesty that you are leaving town. That's a normal thing that people do. You work around other people's schedules and as long as you're professional about it, you're totally worthy of that same respect. Now within my calendar, like I said, things that take me a lot of extra time, such as filming, such as planning and creating content, things like that, I already do those in advance, but I try to be extra on the ball and not push things forward. And any admin tasks that I'm gonna be running up on a deadline for prior to my trip or hitting the deadline for while I'm gone, I try to have those completed, like done and dusted because it is no fun to be sitting on a trip and be like, oh my God, like I'm totally, it's totally crunch time and I left town. That's not a fun feeling to have, so make sure your preparation is even more on point than it normally would be. That's really important to note and to have in mind. Now, I'm very fortunate to have a really amazing team of a VA, my CFO, my co-coach, a bunch of people who are involved in my business, who uh, my video editor, editor um, who really help me when it comes to staying on track and staying accountable and helping me be prepared. But if it's just you, don't bite off more than you can, than you can chew and just know that like, you are in charge of your schedule. So if your schedule is ruling your life and you need to pull back, do it, right? Don't let your schedule be in charge. You take charge and you make your schedule and your tasks reflect the time that's actually available to you. With that being said, my long ass to-do list that I have for today may not get completely done, but everything is prioritized and the things that must get done will and the things that I'm hopeful to get done will at least get started, right? I'll at least know when they're happening or how I can start on them to give myself a head start post vacation. So 
that's my chat on that. I'm not necessarily going to end the vlog here. We have a lot of today left. Um, we will see how much I continue to film once my sister gets here, but I am going to be packing, um, doing some cleaning, just some different things, wrapping up, you know, a very heavy administrative day with a later client call. And then I am jutting out of here at 6 a.m. tomorrow morning. So that's going to be a super early wake up call. So that's my chat on organization and the specifics of how I prepare myself. It took a lot of time before I got to the point where I felt like I had the liberty to leave town when I wanted to and that I took the ownership over my schedule um, and that I took the ownership over being prepared, right? Like it's all up to you. If you want to take time, you have to be prepared and like that falls onto you to decide what prepared looks like for you. So take ownership. Be really responsible and accountable for your own time and your own tasks and just kick the can down the road, but also don't consistently bite off more than you can chew and know that it is completely possible to have a three day work week, a two day work week, like really like whatever you are willing to do with your own pricing, with your own finances and with your own scheduling, you have total autonomy over what you can do as an entrepreneur. So. If that interests you, make sure you get on the Foundations of Online Coaching waitlist down below so you can work directly with me to learn how to be a successful online coach and business owner. And that's the tea on that, sis. I'm gonna go finish cooking lunch for my sister and I will catch up with you guys in a bit. So my sister is here and I'm just doing some research for some Airbnbs um for a trip that we're going on in a couple of weeks in between i still have the to-do list hanging out she's not looking any shorter um but i'm cruising through this airbnb search um airbnbs at west are so dope um so we're just kind of filtering through what we want the vibe to be we're gonna move around a lot we are going i'm not gonna say the location that we're going to but we are gonna be traveling out west and i'm very excited so i'm going to just drinking some sparkling god bless you oh my god i'm gonna be drinking some sparkling water wrapping this up and then we'll be back to business related admin after that okay just finally got my youtube video for today posted um it was on investing in real estate basically how i bought this house as an entrepreneur and a coach and i would definitely recommend going and watching that i talk a lot about uh, responsible saving and financial management strategies if you are an entrepreneur as well as specific changes that i made in my personal business that allowed me to accumulate the income necessary to make the investments that i wanted to make including the house that we're sitting in right now so definitely go check that out and we're about to shift into some um, real trip planning soon, um, but I'm gonna do some more client check-ins and continue working through my to-do list. All right, you guys, it is the end of the three day work week. I didn't vlog as much today as I wanted to, but that's just the reality of a day getting really, really busy. Um, and yeah, just having to leave town. So I am just now packing. I have my work bag here kind of spread out everywhere. And then I have my bag of like clothes and things that I'm packing in the other room. So I will likely do a work and travel vlog while I'm on my trip, but because of the work that I put in this week, anything I do on the trip will just be extra. So I'm going to throw everything in my bag and say goodbye to you guys. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and say goodbye to you guys here thank you so much for being here as always it has been a pleasure make sure you hit subscribe and let me know down below if the, you like this kind of lifestyle vlog content and if you haven't already go connect with me over on my instagram at emily woods wellness and i will see you guys in the next one. Oh, and by the way if you want to see content from my trip Specifically, we're going to Disney. It's going to be super fun and super cute. So again, that'll all be over on my Instagram.